Hi everyone, we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. And yeah, we're going to see. So before I start, I just wanted to mention that this is for all star signs. If you're here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign in itself. And I also just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, and then also there's the personal services I offer, like tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work and prayers, all linked down below and on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's also intention items on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with. There's thousands of five star reviews as well down below. And these are really special items because they're handmade and meditated with. And there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, candles and teas. So yeah, it's really special and definitely check it out if you are interested. All right, so let's have a look and see what is coming through. grab some cards here. Mm, okay. Hmm. Okay, there's a person here, okay, that you were dealing with who has started to realize some pretty big things, pretty big things. So the first thing that they have started to realize here is that, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. wow, look at this. So we've got, I was in denial, and then you've got the card, which is thought. They're thinking about things, all right? If you're thinking to yourself, like, oh, they're probably not really, you know, thinking about anything, they're probably not doing anything, trust me, they are. We've got here the footman, okay? There are active steps being made in regards to them progressing towards you. I feel here that they are starting to realize that uh, some of the people that they were actually around were quite superficial. They weren't really always there for them. And this has been actually a running theme through some of the latest readings that I've been doing. So I just wanted to mention that, you know, with certain retrogrades, with certain astrological events, it can be that this is, you know, and I feel very heavily, this is a period of time of learning lessons. And that's why, you know, if you're dealing with someone who is being very hot and cold towards you, who isn't exactly, let's say, proactive towards you, isn't doing the most towards you, just keep in mind, Saturn retrograde equals lessons. Lessons that are quite harsh in karmic nature to the point where it really can snap somebody out of a state of just going in the same cycle to them really recognizing and realizing that they have to do a lot more. And that's exactly what I see, okay? So we've also got here them making active steps towards dun 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 dun, dun the reunion. The reunion. What are they realizing? They're realizing they were in denial. They're realizing that they were wrong. They are realizing that them not wanting to be around you or be with you or being hot and cold towards you was actually them totally being in denial of their feelings, which were always there for you. Their feelings have always been there for you. And that's a big affirmation, okay? It's a big affirmation. You felt it on your side. You felt it spiritually. You've known that, okay, this person does still feel something towards me. There's still unfinished business. It's not over. It's not done. It's not, you know, done and dusted. It's, it's still there. And I think that that's a really, really strong affirmation. So comment down below. It's not over, you know? There's unfinished business. And... Um, Wow. Okay. Happiness of the heart. They realized that they were the happiest when they were talking to you, when you were there for them, when you are, you know, really just being yourself around them. That's the happiest they are. A lot of other people don't really care about them, unfortunately, which is again, something I've mentioned in previous readings as well. You know, other people just kind of say like, oh yeah, just do this, do that, you know, and just are there for like very brief conversation, but not really to care for them and we've also got hope as well they're really hoping that when they come to you they won't sorry you won't reject them we also have the fact that you know 
And then finding out that they have really been in denial and that they've been hiding these feelings, which now are coming to the surface, especially with the Saturn retrograde and people not treating them nice and then realizing like, wow, like I do genuinely have feelings for you is making them rush faster towards you because now they're going to start fear actually losing you. And so they are going to rush towards you from what I'm seeing here. You influence me in ways no one ever has. See, others don't really influence them in the best way. I think that when you console this person, you know, you show them that their dreams are possible, that they can be a stronger person, that they don't have to worry. They don't have to be fearful. They don't have to be, you know, worry about sharing their emotions or coming across in a certain way. You just let them be who they are and you accept this person for who they are. However, there are other people around them that are always telling them like, do this, do that. You know, why are you like this? Why are you like that? And they just don't like that. Um, with you, you influence them to literally be the best version of themselves. And that's beautiful. That really is. And it's just, it just goes to show like how amazing of a person you are. You know, that's such a lovely thing. It really is a lovely thing from your side. I'm trying to figure out which cards to put where. Okay, let's do that. We'll make a line here. Okay, so you just make them feel hopeful, you know, about their life, about their future. You make them feel good. You make them feel happy. You, you make them feel like, you know what, you can, you can do it. Like, you can achieve your dreams, you do all the things you want, go for it. You don't belittle this person from what I'm seeing. And they love that. They love that. That's why they're rushing in. They don't want to lose someone like you, you know? Sorry, these actually flipped over, so I'm just get, getting them out. thought about having a family with you of course they have why <laughs> because you are literally life partner material my nerves have been getting the best of me which is why they're also holding back because they do feel quite bad about how they've treated you of course you know after everything that's happened they do genuinely feel bad about how they've treated you they know they need the you know should have done a lot more towards you as well and they know they haven't been able to do enough we've got here as well i'm feeling the consequences of my actions absolutely they feel terrible you know for how they've treated you how they've been towards you they know they should have done so much more towards you um absolutely 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 sorry <laughs> I just, I just, you're saying the same thing Ah, oh, it, it just is. It just is what it is, okay? They were in denial. Now they realize that they were in denial. Now they realize how they should have been towards you. Now they realize, 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 realize. It just is. It is what it is. Yep. I'm not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons. No, they're not hiding it for the wrong reasons. They're hiding it because they're trying to make sure that they can get themselves together to then come towards you. And they can, you know, really come up with like a plan here. Don't think because we don't talk, I don't want you because I do. So if they're not really saying much or they're not really saying anything at all, doesn't mean that they don't want to talk to you. It's just that they are a bit scared that you might reject them based off how they've treated you in the past. But uh, they will come to you from what we have already seen. Let's continue with three more of these cards. One, two, and three. I thought about taking a trip with you. That's quite nice. Yeah, I think that what they have realized and recognized is that, you know, if they want to go somewhere with someone, it would be you because you actually care about them. Newsflash, newsflash. It's like, it's like when you were, you know, talking to this person, you were like very obvious about how much you cared about this person. And it's like newsflash. Now they realize how much you care about them. I know, I know. See, sometimes people just take a little bit longer to learn and realize and recognize these kinds of things um i thought about taking a trip with you so that's that one yeah they have thought about a very nice warm place that they would potentially like to take you a place that means a lot to them as well now this could have been something they've discussed with you previously like a place that just means a lot to them sorry i keep saying the word like a lot oh gosh so what happens when you watch certain TV series and they say certain things over and over again? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just gets stuck in my head. I miss being intimate with you. Mm. Now, intimacy, by the way, if, if you haven't been physical with this person, 
just I just wanted to mention intimacy isn't just the physical intimacy is also about deep conversations intimacy is also about feeling listened to feeling heard feeling respected that is also a part of intimacy as well and you know when they say like um, we just had a very intimate wedding it doesn't mean that everyone was physical at the wedding right it, it just means that these were close people you know you had a really good time with those closest nearest and dearest people um, some people get a little bit confused with the word intimate because I do get emails about it it just means you know feeling close, feeling loved, feeling appreciated. Um, yes, physical, it can be physical, but in this case, um, especially if you have been physical with this person, they do miss that intimate aspect of things, but they also just miss being close to you, talking to you, feeling appreciated, feeling respected, feeling heard. Um, that is also a huge part of um, intimacy as well. And then we've got, you know, because they say emotionally intimate, you know, so of course they miss that part. I'm not used to a connection like this, so I run. And that's exactly what, you know, what kind of happened here is that they ran, but now they're going to be running towards you. First they run away, but now they're gonna be running towards you. And so this is your reading. Now, of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website. Um, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And take care, everyone. Take care. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.